Hi, this is Robert from Retro Car Guy 530. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps necessary to install the cargo lid or deck lid struts for the Chevy SSR for the rear cargo cover here. And these are sourced from simple-engineering.com and produced by LST. So I'll walk you through the simple engineering installation steps for these. And thanks for coming to the Retro Car Guy 530 YouTube channel for your simple engineering installation steps. So after the intro, we'll start talking about uh, these struts and how there's a couple different lengths and why you want to install them and how you do it. Thanks for watching. Please review the automotive information, repair, and modification guidelines on this screen. Seek the advice of a repair professional if you're unsure how to perform any repair or modification safely and correctly. All repairs and modifications are performed at your own risk. The problem you're trying to solve here is the fact that the cargo cover or deck lid, depending on what you call this particular cover, doesn't open like it should when you use the fob or the push button or the release lever in the back to open the cargo cover lid. I call it a cargo cover. So let's uh, give you an example. I have a 2004 SSR here that has no carpet kit and the original OEM struts. So let's see that amazing opening, which, uh, no, it's not very amazing. The problem there is uh, that you have to put your finger in here to open the cargo cover and it may not open fully or quickly and it may not, depending on the charge level of the struts, may not hold the cargo cover up depending on the kind of wind you might have around your vehicle at that point in time. So GM was telling their service departments to tell customers that if, as long as it opened an inch to get their finger in there in the corner, that was sufficient. If you watch my Chevy SSR review, you know, my opinion of that particular response was not very favorable, but that's my personal opinion. Um, but ap apparently at some point GM decided to try to tackle the issue because there was a modification made by GM with a retrofit hinge that uh, had a longer, the main hinge itself was virtually identical to the original hinge except the mount point for the cargo struts, cargo cover struts. Um, was moved to a lower location and a longer strut was used to um, try to alleviate the problem. Unfortunately, same thing started happening to those. It seemed to be just the charge level, quality, the seals, the, the struts in general just didn't seem to hold up. So there was no real solution from GM. LST started producing cargo cover replacement struts um, for the SSR. And the replacements have a better, the overall quality is very, very good, very great. It's a great product. Um, you'll notice it's a little bit beefier as far as the size on the width here. And one th modification that was done intentionally was to increase the length of each strut by just a little bit because the cargo cover doesn't open fully in some people's opinion. So the original style hinge um, which had a uh, strut length of 375 millimeters was increased to 390 millimeters with the ones sold by symbol-engineering.com. And the ones with the modified hinge bracket, that longer one that I was mentioning, the original length was 410 millimeters and the uh, modified one, the longer one is um, 437. So it's important that you do visually inspect your vehicle, make sure you're, you have the original style, which 99% of the SSRs out there on the road today will have the original style, but just make sure you're ordering the correct one. So with that, we'll go ahead and get uh, a second person to help me with this installation. It's required for a couple of reasons. One, safety and the fact that when I disconnect the original strut cartridges, the weight of the cargo cover will be um, not held by the remaining one. And secondly, since these are a little bit longer, the person does need to lift the cargo cover just a little bit to accommodate the extra length here. But the installation process is uh, five minutes maybe, uh, depending on how fast you are walking around the truck. And just make sure you have two people, one that can stand in the back and support the weight of the cargo cover and the other person that can work with uh, removing these, which will require a small flat blade screwdriver to pop off this clip on the end here. Um, is it will need to be backed out to pop that off, at least on the top end of it here, we can just kind of pop it off from the bottom ball socket on the hinge side of it, on the, on the truck side. So let me get my assistant in place here and we'll start the installation process. We're now going to begin the installation of the simple-engineering.com supplied car cargo cover struts by removing the top side of this one on the driver's side and removing the bottom part of it as well, but we'll only install the new bottom end first. We're gonna go over to the other side 
uh, remove the old one fully and install the new one fully, which will allow us to elevate the cargo cover to accommodate for the new length. And then I'll come back over on the driver's side and then pop this one back on over here and the installation will be done. So with that, let's uh, begin the process. I will get my lovely wife to uh, come over and act as my assistant during this process. So if she would uh, grab the cargo cover, it's going to get a little heavier as I pull this off. Okay, that's the top side. Now we're on the driver's side lower section. So all we really need to do here since we're going to uh, get rid of this particular uh, cartridge is to pop it off. It may need some motivation, but uh, I'm going to also give the screwdriver, there we go. So we have the old strut off. I'm going to install the new strut by simply putting the bottom side in on the hinge. So that's snapped on and it shouldn't come off and it's not. So now let's proceed to the passenger side. All right, now I'm going to remove uh, the top side of this particular strut. Be ready for the additional weight. Put the screwdriver underneath. Okay. And now I'm on the passenger side. I'm going to pull this off on the bottom ball here. And it's a little bit more resistant than I'd like. So let's remove that clip a little bit and it's off. All right, we're now going to install the new strut on the bottom side here. Let's push that on and snap, and it's securely on there. If you would please elevate the cargo cover. You're good. I need more height. A little bit lower. Right there, perfect. Okay, the top side on the passenger side is now engaged, and I should be able to grab it like that and not pull it off. Same with the bottom side. So passenger side complete. Now we're going to complete the installation of the new strut cartridges by taking the driver's side one, and I need you to elevate it just a hair. And it's pushed on to that connection on the, on the cargo cover itself. And again, I cannot remove it by pulling on it. I will check that same thing on the bottom. So we should have a securely in place set of cargo cover struts that replace the original OEMs. Thank you, my lovely assistant. Uh, your, your task is done. We've now completed the installation steps for the new cargo cover de or deck lid struts for your Chevy SSR. And like I said, the length was a little bit longer, so the elevation of the cargo cover is just a little bit higher than it was originally with the OEM struts in place. And the biggest improvement, of course, is the behavior of the cargo cover when you press the release. So let's uh, test that out. So let's go ahead and close. And let's uh, do the full closure here. And let's use the fob to open it. And look at that. That's the way it should behave. So there you go. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment in the video. Uh, comment section, or you can send a question to Mike at simple-engineering.com, Mike at simple-engineering.com. And thanks for coming to Retro Car Guy 530 YouTube channel for your installation um, inquiries about your parts from Simple Engineering, LLC. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time and you want to, please subscribe. Click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Please follow Retro Car Guy 530 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for taking the time to visit the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.